This segment of Del Marva Live is brought to you by the Ocean City Hotel Motel Restaurant Association. Well, when we think tacos, we often think chicken or beef, salsa or sour cream, mm -hmm. hard or soft shell. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily the case today. We have another option for you, one that possibly you never really considered. How about clam strip tacos? Mm, sounds good to me. John Martin is the co-owner of Martin Fish Company in West Ocean City, and he's going to show us how to make them. Welcome to the show this afternoon. Thank you, thank you. Let's start off with what, what we have inside. What are our ingredients? Well, we have clam strips from the surf clam mm -hmm. that's caught offshore. Uh, we have buttermilk, mayonnaise, garlic, salt, pepper, some chilies, lime. Mm -hmm. Over here for to go on with it is... Uh, cabbage slaw, okay. onions, lime again, cilantro, and a little bit of salt. So okay. this, uh, so what we do, we just, and also we have our breader, which you can make any kind of breader you like, beer batter breader. Uh -huh. We use, uh, at our store, we have House All Tree and J.O., and okay. you can get that right there just along with the, the clams. Yeah, okay. at the store. So you just dredge, dredge these through the, like this. Just using the, the moisture that's yes, already that's on all, them? That's all it is. Okay. And then uh, I want to put a little bit more so we can get and you have some oil heating up here. Yep. What kind of oil do you use? Well, we're just using canola, canola oil, okay. but you can use the oils that you like. Kind of flexible? Yeah, it's all flexible. It's seafood. You can do just about whatever you want. <laughs> and then uh, just get it nice and powdery, and then just slip them right in here. So you might check that. Yeah. So you said you had some interesting history about the clam. Well, the clams, we've been catching clams off Ocean City since way back in the 60s. And um, they're caught. They're called surf clams because you could catch them in the surf. And we'll go like that. And then you want to start mixing up yours. Okay, so what am I mixing up here? A sauce? Yeah, all okay. the sauces. Everything goes in, start here, and then just start Before mixing it all in. Over. Yep. Okay, you want that? Yeah, there yeah you go. we'll turn that off. You want it off? Yeah, because it's hot. Okay. There you go. All right. Yep. I'm loving this. This is awesome. <laughs> so it's just like frying anything, just let it go a couple minutes. Uh, so to finish off, they're caught offshore in about 10 fathoms of water, which is uh, 10 times 6 for those who don't know a fathom. Right, wow. right. And they're using a dredge. A uh, dredge is dropped down to the bottom, and uh, it's steel. There's hose, big 10-inch hose runs down there and uh, creates a water jet. Right. It breaks okay. up the bottom, so yeah. as you pull along. The clams are just under the surface, probably about that far. Right. So it cut it almost like a razor blade on your skin. It just right through the bottom, oh, about, okay. that, about that deep through the bottom. So what makes a good clam? Well, you want it fresh. Yeah. Now these clams that we have at Martin Fish Company are hand shut clams. There's two different kinds. There's, there's clams that are done by a machine, and um, then there's hand shut, which uh, are yeah. a bigger clam, and that way you get a nice bigger jumbo uh, Trip like this. Done by hand, it's All just right. always yeah. better anyway. So uh, it's amazing. Up, finish up the sauce here, and yep. now you're going to continue to work. Put it on the stuff. Here. Got cabbage, just yep. put it all in. The, uh, onions in. Got some onions in. And then okay. the cilantro. A little cilantro thing going on here. A little bit of salt there. A little bit of salt. Yep. See, I like to make a. Yeah, you can put all that salt. And so, this is just basically yep. a side, a coleslaw that's side. That's good, and then put the lime. Yeah, what am I and doing here? What, what am I making? Yeah, that goes. that's just like a slaw that goes right in with the taco. Oh, okay. And then you put the sauce on. That sounds good. All right. So how about how long? Uh, two, three minutes. You two, just, three minutes. It doesn't take very long if the oil's really hot. Okay. So do you like this whole texture thing when it comes to, to making a meal? I like it. I mean, the, I love clam strips. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when I was younger, we used to have a restaurant that took it for clam strip sandwiches. And then people kind of got away from it. But now, you Why know, do you think that is? Fried. But uh, they were eating so many other bad things. Mm -hmm. But right. now people have like really cleaned up their diets. Now they can go back and have a little bit of fried food now right. and again because it tastes really good. It's okay. Yeah, it tastes really good. And there are several ways you can get the shopping list and instructions on how to make this recipe, clam strip tacos. You can send a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can also go to delmarvalife.com and click on the show tab or give us a call. There's the number, 443-880-9116. He beat me to it. Yeah. I beat you to it. He, he grabbed him out of there. Okay. All right, so just take one of these tacos. Let's take the plate right so, here. No, wait, wait, you didn't just pull these out of nowhere. Where were they? What? Well, I put them in the oven to warm them up. For so how long? Just, just to keep them warm. Just to keep them warm. Just keep them warm. Okay. Not, you don't want to get them crispy, then they'll fall apart. Right. So take one of those. Okay. Put it on the plate. Okay. Take uh, your slaw, put a little bit on there. 
to your whatever you like. Oh, I like lots mm -hmm. of slaw. I'm a <laughs> slaw guy. And How's then, that? Yeah, that's good. good. And then we'll put some clam strips there. Whoa. Now, what's Lisa going to eat? She's, <laughs> she's gonna, we're going to cut this in half. Okay. And then she's going to throw just a little bit of she sauce in there. She might cut it in half. I don't know. Well, I'm going to cut it in half. We can just, yeah, just drizzle there. It's, a little, it's got a little heat to it. That's good. Okay. Oh, if it's got some heat to it, put a whole bunch in there. <laughs> and you just fold it over like any taco. Yeah. And slice it right in half, huh? Mm, this looks so good. <laughs> All right. Okay, All can right. we try it? Yeah, is it ready? This is it's it. ready. It's, it's that quick and easy. Wow. This would be a great for after school dinner. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. real quick. This kind of thing to have for on weekends too. Mmm. What do you think? Mmm, that sauce, I, I like the sauce. Yeah. Now, that I, is good. Now I like things really, really hot. How is it for you? Is it too hot? Is it not hot enough? Is it just enough to tell? <laughs> I'm getting it all <laughs> keep, over. Keep working on that. Give me it's it's going to come off eventually, I'm, I'm sure. Just right, take it. Taste uh -huh. for yourself, Jimmy. Pretty good, huh? Oh, that is good. If you like more heat, just add more chili. Oh, my goodness. Well, hope you don't mind watching us while we continue to eat because this is really, <laughs> really delicious. Mm -hmm. Man, this is awesome. Easy, mm -hmm. very inexpensive. Thank you so much, very John. Easy. Well, still ahead on Delmarva Life, we are just hours away from the series premiere of Under the Dome, Stephen King's best-selling thriller that was turned into a summer TV series. We're going to meet the cast next. But first, here's a look at what's coming up in the news on First at Five on Fox 21 and later on WBOC News at 6. I'm going to finish this off.